Good morning, my gorgeous friends on the internet. How are you guys doing today? I have some special announcements before we get into today's episode. One, the super like button got disabled on my channel. Enabled. I never had it in the first place. It got enabled on my channel. So it's a way of you showing appreciation. You can send me a nice message, but more importantly, money you can donate. So do it now. <laughs> I'm joking. A little bit. Uh, but second of all, the full stack course is coming along nicely. So I want to give you a bit of an inside look of uh, what is it going to be, because I don't think I really talked about it too much. So it's going to be a full stack e-commerce website that's going to include technologies like Next.js, GraphQL, uh, Stripe for payments, email sending and user authentication and everything. So yeah, hopefully in two weeks or so, that's going to be available save your money for that as well. I'm gonna feel like I'm, I'm robbing you right now, but do it. So what I wanna talk about today is the top five things that should be banned from web development. And I wrote a list and printed it out as well. It's pink, you have a problem with that? You homophobic? Now I absolutely love web development and it changed my life for the better and I wouldn't change anything. Uh, my experience so far and it's fun and exciting, but if you're listening, whoever it might be, Al Gore or another inventor, we need to stop these or else. Trust me, you don't want to be on the end receiving of that, the receiving end of that. What's the expression? Number one, node modules. What even is node modules? All we know, it's a collection of different packages all jumbled up in this one folder that's impossible to delete and when you run get add and you forget to take out node modules it just absolutely destroys your life why do we have this first of all why do you have something like node modules why do we have 10,000 different packages for small things to do that's when you know something's wrong with web development when you need 10,000 different things to get something working that should never happen when you do game development you're like oh I have Unity. When you do web development, you're like, I need GraphQL, I need GraphQL request, I need Next, React Router, DOM, React, Axios, I need. And what I also love is when you finish your project and everything, or you see these YouTubers make the projects, and they have like 50 different vulnerabilities from all of these different packages, and they're like, oh, just, we'll just not mention that ever again. Face your issues, be a man. My brother decided to take a shower whilst I'm filming this video. I'll be right back. Number two, the sheer amount of technologies out there in the world and YouTube tutorials. So let me explain myself a little bit. Um, there's a lot of great YouTube channels out there that post amazing content and that's absolutely fine, absolutely perfect. And from the teacher's perspective, it's you're sharing information for free to the world. So. That's awesome. But I also remember when I was a student and I was learning web development and thinking of people that are joining web development, well, they're going to be absolutely shocked by the sheer amount of things that are out in the world. And they're going to think, because they don't know, they're going to think that they need to learn all of these different things. So when you're putting Redux on them and then you're like, well, you don't need that anymore. There's React Query. Oh, we're not doing client-side rendering anymore, we're using Next.js, blah, 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 and then just keeps changing, changing, then blah, React sucks, we're on Svelte, Svelte now, Svelte. It can feel too overwhelming, and I don't think it benefits anyone when there's a new framework coming out just fixing a small, minor thing that the previous framework didn't have, and then we need to go through 20, 30 different frameworks and iterations till we get something that's really okay to use or fun to use. Not that the previous ones are not fun to use, or they're, they're a bit less fun to use, but it is what it is. So let's pass a law right now. No new frameworks allowed. You have to graduate. Number three is gonna be old browsers. I remember at my last job, I walked up to my boss and asked him, for us to switch to Flexbox because it was so easy to style content with it. We were still on this old grid system, but he refused because some of our users still used Internet Explorer. Now, I'm sorry, but who uses Internet Explorer these days? Unbelievable. It's either people that discovered, that put like their old computer in like a time machine, you know, when you bury your 
like a message or something. They buried their computer. And they dug it up after 40 years. Wow, let's see what's on this thing. Internet Explorer and my old war pictures. Get your life together, man. You buried your wife there 50 years ago. And you missed her, so you dug her up now. Time machine, my ass. But seriously, let's ban all of these different browsers. I keep checking, can I use .com? And I see Oprah Mini, Internet Explorer, all of these different weird things. What are they? Never support anything either. I always check Opera Mini and it's nothing supported on there ever. Like the basic things, text unsupported. Number four is going to be bad UI and UX. And I was guilty of this at the beginning, especially um, packages like page transitions or a few different animation libraries out there or scroll jagging and stuff like that. They're so frustrating now that I look at it. I remember visiting this website and uh, tried to scroll, but it would do like a full page slow scroll and you have to do it once and then wait for it to come in and then do it once. And I just got fed up with it and just left the website where you see galleries as well that do that, where you want to just scroll through it, but they have a nice slow animation. That's not good, man. That's, that's just frustrating. It's a waste of time. And they also seem to break frequently. I remember resizing them and they just be weird. Just not work properly. That's it. That's all I had to say there. Number five is going to be banning yourself from working so much on web development. Because it's very easy to get yourself lost in the world and code for 14 hours and you're stuck in your basement. No one's around. And there's a beautiful world out there to explore, experiences to make, and enjoy life to its fullest. Me and Max are making a new channel that's going to be kind of a, like a lifestyle vlog videography. So that's kind of me promoting it right now. Was it subtle? Yes, it was. Anyway, that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate the support and everything you guys done to this channel and check out the full courses I have on developedbyad.com if you want to learn React, especially with the new full stack coming out. But there's courses on JavaScript, JavaScript animation, CSS, and all the good jazz. So until next time, bye.